Hello, and welcome to the Indie Haven preview for Quiver of Crows. This is an alpha build of the game given out to press, and I'm going to give some first impressions on it, and let you know if this is going to be good, or if the devs have a little bit more work to do. Alright. So then. Looks like this is a game... that you play with the two analog sticks on a controller. Oh, it's a shooter. Interesting. I'm gonna say right now, this is a pretty, pretty game. I like the piano music that's going on in the background, and the vector art looks really neat. Everything looks like very nice and simple and stylized. Alright, so looks like the first enemies are just floating things. They kind of remind me of those meatballs from the Langoliers, if ever anyone's seen that Stephen King series. But yeah, so they go down really quick though, so just gotta aim at them. Took a hit. Okay, so I'm guessing I have to free a certain number of crows in each level before I can progress. Ah. Okay, so if these enemies come out of this thing, can I destroy this thing? This little clump of black blackness. Dark blackness. Ugh. Oh, these guys can cluster up. Alright, so, free to go on through the level then. Let's wrap this up and... Ooh! New weapon. Just a three-shot scatter. That That's going to be helpful, because I was having a little bit of trouble doing the fine targeting against these enemies, and this is going to just... yeah. This makes targeting multiples of them a lot easier. Okay, so let's see how this map thing works. As soon as I'm done with this. guys up. Okay, so if you get hit, you lose the... There's the... Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Okay, if I spin around and shoot... I'm so screwed. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at this map. Okay. So is there some stuff I can investigate up there from the looks of things? I'm wondering how big the levels get if it needs a map function. Though, no. it's nice of them to give one. It could make it so that if you just accidentally miss a crow or something, finding it for the backtracking will be a lot easier. I like the fact that they give you a map. Oh, God. Okay, so, first death. Let's try this again. Of course, of course I say that and then get hit. Okay. 
Oh. Okay, there are, there are bones in that thing. That's dark. Ominous, even. I mean, not that I was expecting a game called a Quiver of... Quiver. Quiver of Crows to exactly be the lightest thing in the world. I want to read that sign, but there are... These things are all over the place. <sighs> oh, I keep getting stuck on enemies that I've killed. Okay, so is all of the black stuff... No, it can't be, because that stuff's in the foreground. It, it's a little unclear what I can and can't fly and shoot through. Okay, but we freed Crow. We're good. We're good. Come on. Come on. Ah. Uh. Okay. What is this? <laughs> Special attack. Nice. I like it. I can get behind this. Ooh. It's like homing feather missiles. This is like something out of Pokemon. Okay. So that's ammo for the special. Got it. Ooh. Skeletons. Nice. Okay, give me that power up back. I'm taking hits. This isn't good. Oh, they keep coming and the oh, they're coming out of the... Oh. Okay, one more special. I got, I got this. I got this. Oh, that windmill's just going nuts. Ah! Okay, this is tense. I like this. Oh, okay, okay. That's health. Give me the health. Give me the health. Okay. We're back to not dead. Good. Okay, have a special. I really wish I could destroy one of these spawners. Just anything would help at this point. Alright, alright, alright. I can do this. I got this. Ah, oh, no, I don't got this. I do not have this at all. Okay, another try. The dual stick control on this thing, it reminds me of Beat Hazard, which was the game I would play a bit back in the day. Had a similar thing going on. Generated levels based off of sound. Nowhere near as pretty as this, though. Ah, I can get stuck on the chain? Are you kidding me? Ugh. Alright, we got this. This level's a little challenging. I mean... Did I, did I just clear that thing out by flying through it? I can't tell. Crap. Yeah, uh, for those of you who have seen my Blade Star just past fresh, I'm not very good at this style of game, so this may be a little bit more challenging for me than it would be for you guys. Wait, okay, can I not shoot through the bodies of these things? It doesn't look like I can. Oh, that's a nuisance, especially when they cluster up like that. Just, the dead ones turn into like a bullet shield for their living brethren. Okay, I can get through this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh... 
Okay. I'm gonna sprint through the level this time. We're not sticking around to fight these things. We are doing the bear... Oh, God. Okay, it's free? Yeah, it's free. Good. Come on, let's go. Oh. Oh, this game. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the action in this is cool. It's hard, though. Hard. Ugh. Need a strategy to get through this next little bit. It's a curse! Every time I say I haven't taken a hit yet, I get hit. Okay. We're good. We're good. Got three specials. Three of these things out. Okay. We're not being followed by a ton this time. I can special these guys to death. And then die. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Just thinking. Let's do this fast again. Oh, I'm gonna die already. Oh, that bullet blocking. I feel like that bullet blocking makes this game a little bit harder than it needs to be. I don't know, maybe there's some easy way around it I'm just not seeing. Okay, specials. I am a special motherfucker. Okay, one more pro. Where is it? Looks like there's not another crow. But I want to check out that thing up in the corner there. Like, thought it was there. Okay, whatever. On to the next level. Ooh. We're turning it into a crow, sh crow starship. Crowbra starship. There's an alternate title for this game. What? I'm not just seeing this, right? That is... Oh man, I didn't see that coming. That's a crow, yeah. Am I... Am I playing Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds from, like, the side of the birds? Am I starting some kind of Cropocalypse? Cropocalypse? Ooh. Took a little bit to get through that last level, but I'm gonna say, like, just that thing. It has me wondering if there's a little bit more going on here than just flying around shooting little mouth meatballs. This is good. I like this. I'm excited to see where this goes.
Alright, is this just some kind of, like, magical focusing lens, or does it shield me? I can't tell, it doesn't seem like it does. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't. It's not a shield. Oh, there's so freaking many! Yeah, if, if they cluster up like that, I'm kinda done. Like, especially if I'm down to the base one weapons and don't have a special. Huh, interesting. A crow is just going to town on that eyeball. I'm distracted by that. I think I've seen enough of this game to begin to make some solid judgments about it. I'm gonna say, well, holy crap, I think this might be... This might be my first game that I've done a first impressions for, where I just... really... feel really positive about it. This is good. This is really good, actually. It's simple, but... There's enough going on, like, there's enough complexity, and it's... If this is an alpha, holy crap. Uh, there were some percentage bars at the menu screen that said how far it was done. I need to check those out after we're done with this level. <laughs> Come on, Crowfoot. <sighs> okay. Let's check out those percentage bars. Press preview. The graphics are 90% done. I can totally see that. Weapon 75, that's good. Yeah, it looks like it's not even a full third of the way done with levels or audio, so if they add in some more songs and some more levels and... Ooh, if it... If the rest of the levels have this sort of dark atmosphere that the menu screen has going on, that'll be quite a thing. I wish that they would take away the body blocking that the dead bodies do for the bullets. I feel like the, that makes the game just a little bit harder than it needs to be. But anyway, yeah, this game is good and I am excited to see what the final what the finished product is going to look like. Good job, guys. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, remember to like and subscribe, and feel free to check out IndieHaven.com for more good content. Say hi to the other writers over there for me. Peace.